In this video, I'm going to teach you the 3D spaceship, also known as the Star Fox R-Wing, and it looks like this. So this is a picture trick, so the easiest way to learn it is probably to just have a dead yo-yo, then you won't have the pressure of the yo-yo spinning the whole time. Um, but the first thing that you want to do when you learn this trick is make sure that you've mastered Eiffel Tower. So if you learn the Eiffel Tower from us, uh, there is one change that you're going to need to make to the trick in order to get this trick to work, and that is right at the beginning. When you do the slingshot portion of the trick, you're going to want to get the string on the opposite side of your thumb before you complete the rest of the trick, and you'll know that you've done that right if your thumb ends up pointing forward when it's on your throw hand side with no twists in the string. So once you have the Eiffel Tower, then you can progress to the rest of the trick. So the uh, next thing you want to do is instead of pinching the string to complete the Eiffel Tower, what you want to do is take your pinky on your yo-yo hand, and you're going to wrap the string coming off the yo-yo around your pinky. And uh, there's a real specific way to do this. What you want to do is take the palm side of your pinky and push it into the front of the string, and you want to wrap the string around your pinky one time with your pinky facing upward. And that can be a pretty awkward motion. Um, you're probably going to be tempted to point your pinky down when you do the wrap, but that'll end up having a little bit of a twist in one of the wings of the R wing. It's not going to fly right, so make sure that you get this part of the trick right. So again, you just bring your palm side into the string and wrap it around one time with your pinky facing upward. Now, once you have this, what you want to do is position your pinky right at the top of the tower, and this little triangle that's right in the middle of the tower, what you want to do is you want to reach through with your yo-yo finger, and with the back of your yo-yo finger, pull the string coming off of your pinky right through that triangle. And then to complete the trick, what you want to do is take your first finger on your opposite hand and grab the string coming off of the yo-yo, and just pull it through, uh, the, that would be the top part of the tower, I suppose, and let the rest of the strings fall off your hand, and then you can give the trick a little bit of shape, and that is the 3D spaceship. Now, a lot of times what will happen when you're uh, new to this trick, and it can happen other times as well, is the uh, wing coming off of your pinky might end up being too small, especially in comparison to the wing coming off of your thumb. To keep this from happening, when you initially get the wrap of string around your pinky, a lot of times it'll be butted right up against the rest of the tower. So you're going to want to extend your pinky away from the tower to give yourself some distance. And then make sure you keep that distance as you perform the rest of the trick. And that way you'll be able to balance out the size of the wings so that your trick ends up looking like a proper R-wing. So uh, that's how you do the trick. Let's take a look at it one more time from the player's perspective. So again, to start this trick, what I like to do is lift the string with my thumb, and that way when I pull the slingshot through, the string is on the opposite side of my thumb the way that you want it. And then you're just going to finish the Eiffel Tower like you normally would. And when you get to this part, again, take your pinky on your yo-yo hand, and you're going to push the palm side of your pinky into the front of the string, wrap the string around your pinky with your pinky facing up, and then you're going to hold that string up so that you can reach through the triangle part of the tower with your yo-yo finger and lift that string up. And then sometimes I bring my hands together at this point if I don't have quite enough distance on the string left. Uh, then the last part, you're going to use your first finger on your opposite hand to hook the string coming off of the yo-yo. And then uh, just give it some shape. And that is the 3D spaceship. As you work on all of these things and you put them all together, it'll take some time to get the flow down and to get it all to look right. But once you've got it, it's a really neat trick, and that is the 3D spaceship.